if you have a fear of God, you're not going to be doing certain things, right? You're going to have limits. You're going to draw the line and be like, yeah, I can't do that because I fear God. I fear what God is going to do to me. If I, if I go out and just go rob people, she's like, man, I'm not going to, I can't do that. I mean, even if I wanted to, I can't do that because I fear the Lord. I fear God. I fear what God would do unto me if I were to do something like that. And what he's saying is, you know, and we all ought to have that healthy fear of the Lord. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I mean, you know, if you're going to have a, a, any type of a good life, a, a joyful life, a peaceful life, you have to learn the fear of the Lord. And it's, it's so simple. And I don't know why sometimes as human beings we, we have such a hard time with this. It's so simple. God has set forth rules for us that are good for us. So... It, it, it's twofold, right? On the one hand, we should be afraid of breaking God's rules because God will come down on us. That's one reason to fear breaking God's commandments and breaking his rules. But the other reason is because when you break, God set up his rules to guide you in the right way. So when you break his rules, even just by default without God getting involved, it's going to destroy your life anyways. So it's kind of like a, a double whammy when you go out and you break God's commandments, especially as a child of God, because you have inherently tied within sin, just bad things happen. I mean, when, when you go out, when, when a man goes out and commits adultery, right, and then the other person finds out, there's a lot, to, a lot of bad things are going to happen in a situation like that. That God doesn't even have to get involved it just, just is tied in with that. When you go out and steal from somebody, you don't know how they're going to react. They're gonna, you know, they may come out with a gun. They might kill you. Why? But it's because you're transgressing. You're doing something against them, right? Just that alone is going gonna, is, is gonna to cause bad things to happen. You go to prison. You could do, you know, there's so much that could happen on top of what God might just bring your way anyways. So... That's why, you know, the beginning, <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom because you're a fool to go out and do all these things and break the commandments of the Lord because it's just going to ruin your life. God set these rules up in place for us to help us and to guide us and to lead us into uh, the way that we ought to be living that's good for us, that truly is good for us. And see, people get deceived into sin because they think, oh, what's good for me is getting drunk and getting high and that feels good and fornicating and everything else. But that always leads to destruction. That is the, the way that a fool thinks. And unfortunately, people have to go through that instead of just believing the Bible, instead of just believing the Lord and having fear of the Lord. They just say, no, no, man, I want to I party. I want to do this. I want to do that. It leads to a miserable life. There is no joy in the end of that life. It's only misery and sorrow and, and destruction and ultimately death. That's all you're going to get from a life like that.